morning, everyone. Good morning and welcome. So I, I just want to say that it is cooler here in Orlando than it is in New Jersey. So just so you have a frame of reference, this is actually, it's actually very nice for us. So um, I'm Nick Maniachi, Vice President of EDP's Global Business Transformation Group. Um, I lead ADP's enterprise-wide location strategy, and I can't tell you how thrilled I am uh, at the opening of our uh, new office here in Central Florida. It's been a long, uh, actually not that long project, but uh, it's, it's very exciting to be here today. Uh, this opening represents the realization of our team's work to find the right place for ADP to continue its growth as an indus industry leader in human capital management services. Today would not be possible without the partnership of many Florida leaders and organizations over the past year. We especially want to thank Orange County Mayor Teresa Jacobs and her staff, Maitland City Council, Maitland City Council and Mayor Dale McDonald, Crystal Searcy, Tim Vanderhoof, and the team at Enterprise Florida. <laughs> David Fuller, Chairman, and Holly Weidman, Executive Vice President of, of the Orlando EDC. <laughs> Pamela Neighbors, President and CEO of Career Source Central Florida. and Duke Energy Florida State President Alex Glenn. So a big round of applause for all of you. So today we look forward to sharing why ADP is investing in this community and the wonderful residents of Florida. To kick off our event, I'd like to introduce a very special guest who has warmly welcomed us to the great state of Florida. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Governor Rick Scott. And Nick, the winners here are a lot better. <laughs> and um, your haircut will fit in Florida yeah. really, really well. <laughs> I, was, uh, I was on Saturday, I was at my house, and our two grandsons were staying. One's almost five, and one turns three this weekend. And my three-year-old said, why are you going to get a haircut? <laughs> so, yeah, I love kids. <laughs> I do love my grandkids. It's, uh, it's way better to have grandkids. If you can start there, it would be a lot easier. So. But Nick, thank you for being down here. I, I want to thank everybody at ADP. Debbie, thank you for your commitment. Um, we love jobs in Florida, and uh, we love companies that add jobs, and we've, we've been on a roll. Uh, the mayor uh, has done a great job. I'm going to brag about the numbers, the employment numbers for the Orlando area, but we got elected right about the exact same time, and we've seen uh, an unbelievable turnaround in the state, but even a bigger turnaround in Orlando. And Maitland's doing very well, so Mayor, congratulations on your success. And uh, we like jobs everywhere. Uh, uh, the Mayor wants to be in Orange County, I just want anywhere in the state. <laughs> so Enterprise Florida is a very hard worker. Tim does, uh, Tim does a great job. Uh, he travels the country. Uh, he's calling on companies all the time to try to get more jobs in Florida. And they've had a great, uh, great run. They're at, Dave, thank you for being here. The Orlando EDC does a wonderful job. And when I brag about your, uh, your numbers for a second, you can see why. We're on a roll. We've, um, we've been able to cut taxes 55 times, we've diversified our economy, and we've added jobs after jobs after jobs. In five years, in six months, the state of Florida businesses have added 1,127,000 jobs. <laughs> You'll like our weather a lot, even if they, yeah, our summer weather is better than yours right now, but our winter weather is really way, way better. Disney World's not up there, by the way. Universal Studios, Sea World, our beaches, we got a lot of things going for us. So I'm sure everybody at ADP will only want to do business here. I like it when you all put out, by the way, when you put out, they put out their, uh, their, the numbers for employment uh, even before the feds do. And I always like it because Florida always does well. So uh, the, I don't know why that is. Um, my job is to brag about our state. We're at 4.7% 4, 4 unemployment, which is an eight-year low. But Orlando, 49,000 jobs in 12 months. So congratulations. 
and they are beating the state down to 4.5% unemployment. And they have, we have about 250,000 job openings in the state. They have almost 35,000 job openings right here in Orange County. So people have a reason to keep moving here, uh, keep enjoying here. Don't just come here as a tourist. Uh, come here to get a great job. And uh, everybody here, starting with the mayor, does a great job. Now, ADP, uh, we were in, um, I was did a trade mission last year to New York. We had the opportunity to meet, and I promoted the state, uh, told them there's only one place in the world to, to grow. They had the opportunity to go, go anywhere in the world. Uh, ADP is a worldwide uh, uh, global provider and does, uh, does very well. But what's exciting today is ADP will be adding 1,600 new jobs right here in Maitland. Y'all didn't see the ads when I ran in 2010. Uh, if you ask me the weather, I talked about 700,000 jobs in seven years. So I like people that add jobs a lot. Uh, not only they are adding 600, 1,600 jobs, they're going to add 500 jobs in the next six months. So anybody looking for a job, uh, come here and, and apply. And they're going to make a $28 million investment uh, in this community. So congratulations to ADP, congratulations to Maitland and Orange County for all this. I'm excited about 1,127,000 jobs, but every job's important. I grew up in a family that struggled for work. I watched my dad's car get repossessed. We lived in public housing when I started school, so I learned pretty fast. My parents were better off when they both had a job. Uh, so I want to brag about uh, Kelsey, if you'll come up, but I'll brag about Kelsey. So Kelsey grew up, Kelsey Gordon grew up in Orlando. Um, went to school in high tax, cold Pittsburgh. She came to her senses as soon as she finished school. And she said, I'm looking for opportunities back in my home area. She heard about ADP's new Central Florida office, and she was hired right away. She's a recruiting specialist, and she's responsible for sourcing and, and interviewing employees that are going to take care of all of ADP's clients. And I'm excited because she's a member. I'm the commander of the Florida National Guard, and she's a National Guard member. So she goes a uh, weekend a month and two weeks of summer. Now, Debbie, if you come up, I have, a, I have an award for you. Now, this probably has never happened in the Northeast um, because uh, all the jobs are coming to Florida. But this is a Governor's Business Ambassador Award. Uh, for individuals that add jobs in our state, and I like all the jobs. I'm, a, you know, I like every job. Corporate offices are nice too. Regional offices, all that. <laughs> so thank you very much. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> This is, uh, this is exciting. We, I am down here a lot uh, with the mayor. We get to announce jobs a lot. But there's not many times that we get to announce 1,600 more jobs. This is a great day. So it's great to be here. And again, I want to thank everybody at ADP for this. So I have to tell you, uh, when I was told that we were going to get an award, I was asked, uh, could he put it over your head? And I'm like, you can't touch my hair. So, um, <laughs> so that's good. We're good. Yeah, can't touch my hair. So, <laughs> all right. So thank you, Governor Scott. We really, really are excited, uh, excited to be here uh, today, today with all of you. And uh, on behalf of our CEO, Carlos Rodriguez, and the executive team at ADP, we are really grateful for this, this recognition and this opportunity to partner with you in creating new jobs in this really thriving, thriving community. Um, at the same time, we really do proudly support, we understand obviously over the past few months some of the um, unfortunate tragedies that have happened, and we stand with you together um, in, in partnership and collaboration. I'd like to thank Nick um, as well for in terms of uh, his partnership and obviously the uh, support that he's been doing on this incredible journey that we're making, as well as extending the gratitude for the many people that he mentioned uh, in his opening. Um, in terms of really opening these new offices for ADP, it's, it's unbelievable um, in terms of our energy and our excitement. You know, ADP is an eight human capital management provider and solutions for over 600,000 clients. And so you're going to be part of something quite incredible. Um, and it's just an amazing time here at, a, at our organization. You know, when we began looking for this location, we were looking for service and implementation positions. And we identified cities with diverse workforce and thriving business communities. And I've been back several times, and it's everything that I thought and then some. 
And what's interesting is as we were making our introductions, there's several people that have asked, when am I relocating uh, from New Jersey to, to Orlando? So just, yeah, okay, just give me time, give me time. <laughs> give me time. But at the same time, we were here maybe a few months back and we did a little tour just to see how things were coming along. And I have to tell you, I was quite blown away by the amazing barbecue that exists here. So uh, <laughs> if that wasn't enough, that may have sealed the deal of me packing my bag. So we'll, we'll see what happens. So um, we know here at ADP, the opportunity to the Iraq to attract, excuse me, the right talent is really, really important. Capturing all the elements, as I mentioned, around diversity, from the unique perspectives, the innovative thinking, as well as the well-rounded backgrounds that really exist here will help us to deliver outstanding service and solutions for our clients. We're delighted, really, to join the other 150 international companies that we know exist here in Central Florida. We know that there's more than enough for all of us to share. So we started hiring um, many associates already, and many of them are here today. Woohoo! Right? So welcome. Um, and we really look forward to building a dynamic and collaborative environment for, for the future. So I want to thank you again for the incredibly warm welcome. Warm, no pun intended. Uh, and we are happy, really, to officially open this new office with you all together. So thank you again, Governor Scott. Uh, we really greatly appreciate it. All right. I knew this was going to be a challenge. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> uh, Debbie, Nick, thank you so much for choosing Orlando, Orange County, and particularly Maitland. I tell you what, when we partner, um, when we partner with the state, our governor, who has been such an incredible champion for this state, for job growth and everything else that makes us special, um, when we partner with Maitland, Oh my gosh, Maitland is just so easy to work with. Um, what I have seen out of Maitland in the last couple of years is just phenomenal in terms of job growth. And um, our new mayor, Mayor McDonald, you are going to absolutely love him. Um, I, say that, I say that to you, Debbie and Nick, because everybody else here already loves him. Um, you know, we're just, we're really on a roll. And we are so excited when we see companies like ADP who already have some roots here, who recognize what is happening here from our incredible workforce. Um, and I think that that's one of the things that we're so proud of is that we keep turning out really top quality um, talent, especially out of UCF, second largest university in the country. Um, and we're being recognized throughout the nation for our job growth and all that is happening. We embarked a couple of years ago on a uh, campaign, a rebranding campaign, because we wanted people to know. We wanted CEOs and site selectors to know that there's more to Orlando than theme parks. And by golly, we got the best theme parks in the world. And we're very thankful for the fact that everybody knows Orlando because of them. But we wanted people to know there was more to Orlando and Central Florida than just our theme parks. And um, and you all have obviously discovered that, and we're so thrilled to have you as a part of our community. And um, I am definitely one of those people who said, when are you moving down? And there, uh, we do have good barbecue. I'm not sure what you've checked out. Now that I understand that barbecue is part of the key to the equation. <clears throat> Yes, we will be, we will be um, making sure that we know when you're in town and you will have barbecue delivered from every barbecue establishment every time you're here. And if I need a little extra funding on that, I know I can count on the governor, but I think we, uh, Mayor McDonald, I think we got this covered, don't we? Um, because we also have an incredibly generous community, and I just want to mention that for a minute. Um, you know, it's only been, it's been less than two months since our uh, huge tragedy in this community. Um, and the way our community has come together is like nothing I think the world has ever seen. We've seen so many tragedies around the nation and around the world, but watching Florida, watching Central Florida, watching all of our community, not, I'm not just talking about elected leadership, I'm really talking about the, the people that live here and how they came to each other's aid was something that I think is inspiring and heartwarming and ought to send a message to the world about how we need to work together, how we need to re recognize that our diversity is our strength, not our division. And it is a source of enormous pride for us. Some people have said that Orlando doesn't have a soul. Well, those folks are people that didn't live here. 
And now the world knows that we have a soul. We have a very deep soul and a very caring soul. So thank you again, and congratulations on your expansion here. We couldn't be more excited to welcome you in a broader way to our community, a community that we believe is a beacon of light to the world, demonstrating again that our strength and our resilience and our capacity for compassion and unity is second to none. Couldn't be more proud of Orlando, of Orange County, of the state of Florida, of Maitland, and of ADP, our new partners. Thank you. Okay. Uh, tippy toes. Tippy toes. <laughs> tippy toes, really? Uh, yeah, she's right, tippy toes. Uh, we're so very blessed to have the community that with the demographics that we have, the locational advantages that we have. But you hit on a very valuable point. This is about community. And this is about ADP recognizing the opportunity to come here and be a part of a fabric of a community that's extraordinarily desirable. Uh, so I can't thank everyone enough. Everyone will thank each other enough. And, uh, but we're very blessed to be considered, very blessed to be uh, selected. And at that point in time, Debbie, you're going to love this. And I know the barbecue spots. <laughs> say Four Rivers. So I didn't say that. Uh, the sliders. Anyway, uh, but uh, no, great things here, the educational level, educational level of our residents and the ease of access to get in and out of here. Uh, the diversity of employment opportunities. I mean, otherwise, you know, I'd be bending over and saying thank you to any way I can. But we're very pleased and look forward to the opportunity. Thanks again. Uh, Tim? Thank you, Mayor, and good morning, ladies and gentlemen. First, on behalf of Enterprise Florida, let me recognize Governor Scott for his commitment to Florida's economic prosperity and this monumental economic development project we're here today to celebrate. We simply couldn't do this important kind of work without your leadership, Governor. I also want to commend Mayor Jacobs for her continued commitment to job creation and Orange County's partnership on this project. And I also want to recognize, <coughs> excuse me, and extend our sincerest thanks to Mayor McDonald and the City of Maitland for their dedication on seeing this project through and our local partners, of course, we couldn't do it without at the Orlando EDC. Um, I'd also like to recognize Duke Energy and Career Source Florida and Career Source Central Florida for their extraordinary partnership that makes this possible. What a historic day for Florida, for ADP, and for our community and our state. ADP is an industry leader in a Fortune 250 company. Again, a Fortune 250 company. Their decision to bring highly competitive, their highly competitive project and new location to our community and to our state is a reflection of Florida's strong workforce and pro-business climate. Projects like this will continue to help Florida create more jobs and, <clears throat> excuse me, for, will create more jobs and we thank ADP for their, their commitment and their investment in our state and we wish you all the best and look forward to our continued partnership over the years. Thank you. Well, it's certainly a great morning when we can welcome a company to, like ADP and celebrate all the fantastic benefits that come with this announcement. New jobs, better opportunities, and positive economic development for our community. You know, it's not every day we get to celebrate 1,600 jobs, and I know you've heard that number, 1,600 jobs in our community. You know, we've spent some time thanking each other, but I've learned as a volunteer leader with economic development, this is a team sport. This is all about collaboration. This is all about everybody working together. And you've heard a lot about community, and I can't speak to other communities, but this is a community that values partnership and working together. And so I'd like to thank clearly the state of Florida, Enterprise Florida, Mayor Jacobs, we can't thank you enough for your continued leadership in this area. Mayor McDonald, the great stuff going on in, in Maitland. Career Source, uh, Pam Neighbors, you and your team, thank you for what you've done to make this a success. And then Duke Energy with Danielle Ruiz and Mark Hohenstein. These are fantastic partners that believe in collaboration, that believe in economic development in our community, 
and work together to make things happen. This expansion not only brings high quality and high paying jobs, but it continues to elevate and diversify our economy. The addition of ADP to the Orlando region expands the list of industry leaders who have already chosen Orlando because you know what? They've discovered what we already know. This is an incredible place for business because we can thrive and prosper due to our skilled and abundant workforce. The EDC is proud to say we've had one of our strongest years ever with more company visits and more high quality projects because you know what, Orlando, you don't know the half of it. We look forward to more outstanding announcements like this one today. Our congratulations to ADP, and we look forward to your continued success. Thank you. So I want to thank everybody at ADP on behalf of everybody in Florida that wants a great job. 1,600 more jobs. There's not many announcements we get to do like this. But ADP is a great company. Debbie, I look forward to you coming down here, having barbecue, uh, <laughs> moving down here, get away from that hot weather up there, enjoy our, our cooler weather down here. But this is a great day. 1,600 more jobs. And I agree. I, I want to thank CareerSource. CareerSource actually helps about 500,000 individuals a year get a job. I mean, they, they, they do a great job all across their state. And, um, and they, if you talk to companies, they're very, they're very um, uh, appreciative of what uh, Career Source does. Kelsey, congratulations on getting back from cold, high tax uh, Pittsburgh. <laughs> Have a great day. 1,600 more jobs. Bye bye.